Hi everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to a video tutorial here at Mrs. Lincoln's Lincoln. Today we are going to be making this double pocket card. It's got two pockets right here. However, it's a full size card on the inside. And in the pockets you can put little greetings, um, your little sayings. However, I made my larger pocket here into a little gift card holder. Just really simple. Um, I love gift card holders. So I try and make as many of them as I can. So let's go ahead and get started making this today. First, what you're going to need is a piece of DSP or cardstock. I'm using the Kaleidoscope DSP today, and this is cut at 8.5 by 11. And we need to grab our Simply Scored. So let me get that real quick. Here we go. All right, and my stylus here. So what we need to do is on the eight and a half side at the top, we need to score at four and one quarter. We need to flip it around so the 11 inch side is now at the top and we need to score at five and a half. So now we have four squares. Set this aside for a second and grab our diagonal plate. Now we haven't used this in quite a while so let me just give you a refresher. Um, on the back of the diagonal plate there's a little arrow right there and we need to make sure that this arrow is at the top of our Simply Scored and then it just fits right on, right on top. Perfect. So now once that's on there we need to take our eight and a half inch side at the top again and our line at our four and a quarter mark right there, we need to score again at four and a quarter. So eight and a half inch side at the top, score at four and a quarter. Perfect. So then when you fold it over, it's like that. Perfect, perfect. So now we need to turn it around 90 degrees so we need to flip it so the other eight and a half inch side is now at the top and we need to score this at five and a half. Just like that. All right, so let's get our scoreboard out of the way. So now if we fold this score line in right here, it looks like that. Let me see if I can move you out a little bit. I feel like you're super close. Okay. So it should look like that. So now what we need to do is under our smallest score mark, which is the um, four and a quarter score mark, we need to, um, I'm sorry, it's the five and a quarter score mark, not four and a quarter. We need to cut that score mark that's right underneath the smaller diagonal side all the way to the middle score line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real fast. And the DSP, it's a little hard to see your lines. I probably should have picked a different color paper to, for the video today. So then once that's done, we need to fold this over. So here's our five and a quarter inch score mark with our tab folded inward. We need to fold that in like that. So now it looks like a normal at least the top part looks like a normal card. Cute, huh? Now we need to take our bottom part here with our larger score line at the bottom and we need to fold up like that. Let me grab my bone folder here like that and then fold this part back on itself to make our card. And then just give it a little score here or a little reinforcement like that. And then there you go. So you have a double pocket right here and then you have your full size card right here. Now what I like to do is because I don't like my card to wobble <laughs> like that for lack of better terms. So I like to put a piece of sticky strip right here. I'm just going to use snail for the sake of the video and I'm going to put it right down there at the bottom and I'm going to put a little one right there on my thing 
and then I'm going to fold this up and that's going to help my card stay closed. And I'm going to put one right down here at the side too. You can put it wherever you want to as long as it doesn't interfere with your, um, you know, with your pockets. There, that's good. So now it's more like a card. I would probably put one right there too now that I think about it, now that it's already closed. There, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Alright, and then I would just put like a piece of Whisper White or something in there um, to write my greeting. So that is how you make the um, double pocket card. Now for the inside pieces, um, for the smaller piece, I went ahead and just decorated this with the Tape It stamp with some stays on ink. And this is cut at 2 by 4 And I'm going to take my scallop tag punch. And I'm going to slide my piece of paper right in the punch until it can't go any farther. And I'm going to punch. That's going to give me that cute little tag right there. Now for the gift card holder one, it's super simple. Um, this is cut by 2 by 8. We're going to scallop the top again. And then you score at 2 and 3 quarters, which I already did. And then you just fold it backwards like that. I mean, how it doesn't... And that's it. That's how I made the little gift card tag um, in the other one. So I would just put my gift card right in there and then stick it in there. How cute, how cute. I'd probably put a glue dot or something on there to hold it a little bit better, but that's how that is. So then I'm just gonna take some of my strawberry slush ribbon. I tried to use colors that were all in, in the DSP. So it's Crush Curry, Bermuda Bay, Strawberry Slush, and then Basic Gray. So I'm gonna take the strawberry slush ribbon here, cut off a piece, and then stick it in the top of my tag and tie it in a knot and then this is going to let them know you know to pull the tags out there you go like that in the middle of my scallop would be nice there we go and then one on this one Super cute. Okay, there we go. In the middle of my scallop. Perfect. Alright, so then now this one fits in here. And I would probably cut this off a little bit so it's not... And this is not staying in the middle of the scallop. That's okay, I'll fix it later. And then cut this off. And put it in there. And then cut this guy off. Put my gift, sorry about my arm. Put my gift card in there. And then stick that in there as well. Perfect. Now for my little greeting, I used um, the Starburst Sayings Oh Happy Day in their Bermuda Bay ink. And I'm just going to take some dimensionals and pop this up on the front of the card. Just like that. And there you go. There is your double pocket gift card holder. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, happy inking.